right, so here we go. Just putting some gloves on. I have a scale here, which I'm going to use to help me get an accurate measurement of the, the resin. So I'm going to uh, start with the resin itself and then the hardener. Now, I've calibrated this so that the weight of the cup has been cancelled out. And now I'm going to, whoops, well that's not good is it? Alright, let's try this again. All right. I think I'm going to do about a cup and a half to start with. I feel like a cup is too a little. I feel like two cups might be too much. So I'm starting with a cup and a half and we'll see how that goes. So that's 190 mils. Don't know what that is in ounces, let me tell you. So roughly seven ounces. Now it just changed to 192 mils. That's in, oh, that's grams. So this is 192 mils. Fab. Okay, well. Now I'm going to mix in the hardener. So we'll put this on here, we'll cancel the weight of that out, we'll do 100 and, Very uncomfortable with this because the weight is different but the measurement is the same so not sure which to go by but right now I'm gonna go by the measurement because that's normally what people go by on any video I've seen all right take one piece of a very precious commodity these days, paper towel. Haven't been able to find any in the store and I'm on my last roll. I ordered some from trusty Amazon. I've already prepared my surface. This is the upended round plate with a garbage bag that I've cut in half, a kitchen garbage bag on top. I wanna to try the garbage bag because I've watched videos where they use like saran wrap or cling wrap and I've also watched videos where they use um, what they call cellophane which is a heavier duty and this seems to be kind of an in-between and I liked what I saw when I saw them use this so that's what I'm using Now I have my crystals in here and I'm going to scoop some up to mix with some of the resin once I have the resin mixed. And I'm also going to add in um, a few of these. I don't have the bigger, I don't have the bigger crystals, but what I do have from my uh, glass window work is this little bag of uh, like they're rocks of some kind, polished rock. And so I'm going to add a few of those in to add a bit of bulk. I also have these, which I purchased for another project. And 
I don't know. I might use those at some point to do around the edge, but I feel like they might be too heavy. So I'm not going to use them on this project. I'm going to use them on another one and see how that goes. All right, so that's ready to mix with some resin. Now I'm going to mix the resin together. Wish me luck. I don't know if you can see where, what's on camera here. I couldn't get my camera to work facing forward where I can see the picture, so I had to do it the other way around on my phone. Because I don't know what's going on, but... I had a bit of difficulty today with the other video I posted in the second opening of all this equipment because, um, or supplies, because it didn't, when I imported it into iMovie, there was no sound. There was sound when I played it on my laptop, but when I imported that file, the movie file into, uh, into iMovie, I all of a sudden had no sound. So what that was all about, I don't know. All right. Now let's stir this up. I've sped this portion up, but that's actually three minutes of stirring. And now I'm pausing to add one drop of the Bombay ink in Aqua. The reason I'm adding only one drop is I want this to be very pale, translucent Aqua to look like water. Okay, so I don't know where that cut out. My uh, phone battery died, which I had um, plugged it in, but I didn't plug it in far enough. And because I'm, I've got the screen of the phone faced away from me right now, uh, I couldn't see that it had died until I went to go turn it off, and then it was already off. So here's what's happened. Um, a cup and a half is way too much. It's overflowing. And I'm having to constantly scrape it back up until it starts to set and then won't flow over anymore. So, so yeah, that's what I've learned is uh, a cup and a half, way too much. More like a cup would be plenty. So that's good to know and I'm actually happy to find that out because this stuff is so expensive that the less I have to use to make a bowl, the happier I am. And it's actually less than a cup that I would need because I've already got like, oh, I don't know, it's the wrong side, but it's like two ounces still left over that I didn't use. So probably, I don't know, maybe three quarters of a cup in total would be enough. So, uh, and I, I don't know if you heard me because I don't know if it shut off, but I was saying that people, if anybody watches this who does this all the time, they're gonna be, girl, what have you done? And my answer to you is, I watched your videos. If you had said the quantities that you use, I wouldn't be in this mess. So, yes. Yeah. I'm learning by trial and error here as to how much product it takes to make the bowl. And it's a lot less than what I used. So there you go. Um, I just mixed one drop of the Bombay Aqua into this and I'm happy with that. I wanted it to look like very pale greeny blue water and that's exactly what I have uh, I don't know if it goes any darker when it dries this is all a mystery to me we shall see um, but yeah it's starting to set up a little bit because it's not overflowing anywhere near at the rate it was which is good news because I don't want to be doing this for three hours I think my um, counter must slope a little towards the camera because it really flowed off this side way more than this side. Yeah, look, it's really slowed down. It's really slowed down, so this is good. 
All right, so it's been about four hours, a little bit more. I can touch this now without getting a pullback of some of the the um, resin. Because I had such a hard time earlier with this spreading all over the place, this is really sticky. And so this is gonna be trickier than it would normally be, I do believe. But we'll get it done or it will be a mistake. That will be a disaster and we'll start again another day. But I'm really hoping that I can make this work. Oh boy. Let's see. All right, so I'll put this on here. Let me just tilt this up so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so I put a wine bottle on top of a Ikea milk bottle vase and um, tape them together. And now I have to try and sort out this sticky, terrible mess of this. Ugh, I honestly don't see how this is ever going to work, but never say never, right? So... And you know, it's so hard to get this resin off your hands. So we'll see how that ends up working. Because I got it all over my hands right now. So here's a tip to getting the resin off of your hands. Use some hand sanitizer. I did that. It all uh, rolled up and came off my fingers. I rinsed my hands. And then I rubbed some coconut oil on my hands and let that sit for about five minutes and then wiped it off with a tissue and all the resin was gone. All right, here we are several hours the next morning. Um, this thing is still a little bit malleable, but I think this is going to be an unmitigated disaster because um, because the entire plastic, this thing, the plastic bag is coated with resin. I don't think I'm going to be able to separate the two. There's at no point is there somewhere to really pull it apart. Oh wait, yes there is. Oh, hello. This may work after all. Let's see how this looks. You can see there's all this excess where it ran. And you have to be a little bit careful here because it wants to tear the resin, which is fine because I'm going to cut all this off anyway. I just don't want it to tear down into where the bowl begins. Wow, this removes very easily. This is nice. Okay, I'm just going to cut the bag off at this point because oh, while it is separating, it's a look. Okay, so wow, did it ever run. So now what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to start cutting this off. I think I'm going to take a wider margin at first and then I'll trim it down tighter to the edge of the bowl. You 
can see, but the bag made an interesting pattern, kind of like a bit of a, I don't know, it's a bit of a grid. I did notice that the bag had a pattern to it, but it did have a shinier side, which is the side I used, but the pattern still came through, so that's not the best. You know, the other thing I was thinking about, I don't know if this would work, but I'm going to try it because this is a completely experimental bowl, is um, torching the edge of this once, once I get it all cut off and see if that gives me a smoother, less scissored, more irregular edge. Who knows? Like I said, this is, this is my complete uh, learning experience here. My first attempt at this and really didn't know that it would work at all because I don't know how many people's first attempts work perfectly, but I didn't expect mine to. And for precisely the reason that it didn't because I had no idea what the quantities were for these bowls because like I said nobody not one single video I saw ever said how much it took to make a bowl how much you should be mixing up which would be super helpful information so that's the information I'm going to give you which at this point I'm thinking is less than a cup The other thing is this bowl is a lot smaller than what I'd like to end up making. So, so this plate is not big enough. Either that or I need to upend the plate over my mold earlier so that it runs more because this didn't run at all other than the running that it did while it was down on the table and once I hung it, it it didn't run and I wanted to get those kind of drippy watery splashy looking runs okay pretty even though it's not what I wanted the final look to be which is encouraging because it tells me that when I do get it right I think it's going to be beautiful all right Try something here. Whoa! <laughs> Who knew resin caught fire? Lesson number two. No, so it doesn't really work to melt it into the. No, that doesn't work. It's not plastic. Okay, so that's not an option. All right. So there we have it. My first attempt at doing this. <laughs> I don't like the edge at all. I think once it's really hardened, I might take my um, Dremel sanders bits to it and work the edge a little more so that I, I just don't have that sort of sharp cut edge because I don't like it.
but I will never throw this out. I'm going to keep it as my first attempt so that when I, if and when I get good at this, I can look back on it and see how far I've come. There it is, the bowl. I'd like this to dry a little more spread out like that. So I wonder if I put something like this in there. There. And let's see if it dries a little more spread out. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to cure and I'm going to start another project a little bit later today. I just woke up, threw a t-shirt on so I could do this and uh, now I'm going to go get ready and then later on today I'm going to start bowl number two.